Hello and welcome to the Waterstones YouTube channel. My name is Naomi. I'm here with another vlog for you guys. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about Lockwood & Co, uh, which is a series of five books by Jonathan Stroud. Um, and it's slightly a bittersweet review here because uh, I've just finished the final one in the series and I'm really sad that it's over. Um, one small glimmer of hope though is that uh, apparently the series has just been kind of optioned for television. So hopefully we'll get to see a television adaptation of Lockwood & Co and maybe that will help fill the hole that it's leaving behind. I've loved this series since the first one came out. I actually picked it up because it was our children's book of the month in 2013 at some point I think. And I was hooked ever since then and I uh, religiously get the new one when it comes out. The basic premise of Lockwood & Co is that ghosts are re-entering the human realm and the only people who can see them are children. Uh, adults, uh, they've, they've lost their sight, their ability to see them, to hear them, um, but they can still be harmed by the ghosts. So it's up to all the children uh, in the UK to uh, go out at night and face these frankly quite terrifying ghosts. So the young people that fight all these ghosts are organised into agencies and uh, all the agencies are actually under the control of uh, adults uh, but they are staffed by children. That's where Lockwood & Co is a little bit different. Their agency is uh, staffed and managed all by young people. Um, there's three main agents, Lucy, George and uh, the eponymous Lockwood who's in charge of the agency, who set it up. So they fight the ghosts with uh, salt bombs, uh, silver rapiers and um, magnesium flares and they, they tie them up with kind of like iron chains. Uh, it's really, really fantastically rich world. It's wonderful. I am constantly being surprised by all the new uh, details that Jonathan Stroud drops into. Um, the series. My favourite character is Lucy. Uh, she's just amazing. She's tough, she's practical, she's quick-witted and, she, and she's really funny as well. She has a particularly odd relationship with a skull in a jar. Seriously, read the books, find out. And uh, the skull is uh, evil and homicidal but, but he's pretty hilarious as well and, and, and that's where Jonathan Stroud brings in a lot of kind of like dry British humour which I think is, is, is great because the series would be really dark and grim otherwise uh, so it's really nice that it's got that kind of black humour attached to it as well. As the series goes on, the, the stakes get higher, you know, a larger conspiracy is revealed. So it is a series that has, you know, a, an obvious trajectory, an obvious finishing point. And I think he did that really well. He brought the series to a close fantastically. Um, some things went unsaid, but I felt like you could read enough into them that you you got the ending that you were hoping for. I'm not always one for things that are slightly fantastical, but I thought it's kind of treatment of ghosts and um, the other side, as it were, and where, where these ghosts were gonna go or where they've come from. Uh, I thought it was really interesting. I love the detective aspect of it as well. I love how the uh, young people always need to go out and find the sources for the ghosts, try and figure out what makes them tick. Uh, their motives and they have to do the historical research as well, which is kind of George's speciality. He is definitely their uh, head researcher um, and he's a really fun character too. Whereas we've got Lockwood who's a bit more kind of aloof and uh, a bit more of a serious figure, but he's definitely a leader. I honestly, I could not recommend these books enough. Um, they've kept my interest the whole way through the series. I absolutely love them. Uh, they were a great read for Halloween and this kind of autumnal time of year. And uh, I, yeah, honestly, I've recommended them to so many of my friends and also customers in the shop as well. Um, and I'm really, am sad it's over. And I'm, but I'm really curious to see what Jonathan Stroud's going to bring next. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about Lockwood and Co today. Uh, if you want to hear more from our channel, please do subscribe to us. And uh, happy Halloween, everyone.